Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you an awesome free plugin which you can use in After Effects to create some really, really cool text animations very easily. Um, they have a bunch of different presets, fire, electricity. Once we go through, I'll show you all the different options. Very simple to use. You guys have probably heard about this plugin before just because it actually has a lot of uses. This is actually the Saber plugin by Video Copilot. So you can actually use this to create some really cool like lightsaber type effects. I'm pretty sure the guy who runs Video Copilot actually did a lot of the VFX work in some Star Wars movies. I'm not actually sure, but I know they have an awesome website. They have a lot of awesome some really cool resources and you guys have probably heard about video copilot you guys are a regular on this channel anyways I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use his saber plugin to create some really cool text animations you guys have been asking about it a lot just because I used it in my very last music video so enough talking let's hop right into After Effects alright so the very first thing you're gonna to want to do is go into the description right now and go to the site where you can download this for free it's gonna be called the saber plugin from video copilot like I said once you have that all down and ready make sure you restart your After Effects so that you're all ready to go so the reason why this is super useful is this is gonna give you a different kind of edge and also give you some animations and something that's going to really make your text pop something that is just going to be way better than 2d text or even 3d text in my opinion okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to click on this text tool right here in our toolbar just the big t and then we're going to draw in whatever text we'd like to use so i'm just going to say directed by my name and then what you can do is in the character tab right here you can actually change around the font and the font size so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to change this to a text called beyond the mountains if you'd like to download that you can just go ahead and look that up um, on Google beyond the mountains free font I'm actually going to resize this all make it a tiny bit bigger just so it takes up the full size of the screen and I'm actually just gonna keep in my name just to keep this simple so that it's not too confusing so just do your normal adding text to the screen very simple like I said alright now here's how we're going to do this the first step we're gonna do is we're going to click on one of these doesn't matter which you're gonna come up here to layer you're going to go to new and then you're going to click solid once you click that it's gonna pop up this thing right here you can change the color of this whatever I'm just gonna make it a red solid and click OK so what we're doing here is we're just creating a layer that we can apply the effect onto and you'll see once we apply the effect this solid layer is gonna isn't gonna mean anything it's just giving you a layer to apply changes to so let me just give you a visualization of what I'm trying to explain let's go over to our effects and presets library and we're going to look up Saber and that is going to be under the video copilot folder right here take that drag that onto your red solid or just whatever solid you're gonna see it changes into just a normal saber so now we're just gonna have to change a few of these settings to be able to get the desired effect so if you come up here to your effect controls if you have a project right here just click the effect controls tab right here and there's a few things we're gonna want to do so let's go ahead and open up the customized core tab and what we're going to do is also go all the way to the bottom open up the render settings tab so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to come up, go back up to the beginning and where it says customize core under core type we're going to click here and we're going to click text layer now what that is going to do is it's going to allow us to select a text layer so right here where it says text layer none click on that drop down box and then make that um, the text layer that says whatever you wrote so I wrote just my name it's going to select that so now what that is actually showing is my name except this preset has like a bunch of glow and it's just kind of covering it all up we're going to change around some of the settings to make that actually actually visible so for example if I just bring down the glow intensity for now you can see that is actually highlighting my name alright so next we're going to want to get rid of this black background so that we can see this text over our original plate footage I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to where it says render settings and then under composite settings you'll see it says black I'm gonna change that to transparent and now you'll see the text over our footage so we've already made some really cool progress just in a couple of steps that's why I really recommend that you guys pick up this plugin like I said this thing has been around for a while I just wanted to show you guys my subscribers how you can get those cool animations using this plugin So next up we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning and we're just gonna change around the presets and find something we like so this is why I said I really like this and it's really worth it if you click on the presets tab there's so many many different presets that you can change um, a bunch of different looks and if you just change around all the glow settings you can get something unique every single time I have been nowhere near to really having the chance to experiment what all these look like um, I think that I think they all look really cool you can change the color of each of them to just get each of the animations differently some of my favorite ones I've been using have been Patronus as well as I like the ghost one I like the one that says hot okay guys so what I did was I changed these four settings until I got a look that I really liked so you guys can go ahead and just change this around it's really gonna depend on the preset you choose as well as the size of your text as well as the actual text font you have um, if you guys move this around you'll see that our original text is still underneath that to actually get rid of that what you're gonna do is just come down here where you can actually see that text layer don't delete it just click off the eye so now all we have is the stuff that we want but 
but we're still going to be having it read off of that text layer below, but it's not going to be seen. So that's how you fix that problem. And now we're actually ready to go ahead and animate this. So let's go back up to our effect controls for our solid. And then we're going to slide down here until we find um, customize core again right here. And what we're going to do to see where it says start offset. What we're going to do is we're actually going to slide that to make that 100% and you're going to see it goes away. We're going to click the animation button right here, the little time watch next to start offset. Then we're going to select the place where we want it to be 100%. So we'll slide to around halfway right here and we'll make that zero. And now as you see, if I go back, you'll see that this thing is going to fade in. It's going to have this animation where the words start to really piece themselves together. And this is all done in the actual plugin. And this looks really cool and it's super easy to just set up this animation. As you can see, I'm just going slow, but at full speed, this is going to look really smooth and it's going to look really cool. All right, so now we just have one last step to finalize this. Slide all the way to the bottom here where it says render settings and then go down to where it says alpha mode. Click on that and then make sure that says mask glow. That's going to get rid of that um, glowing around there and just have that nice smooth text effect that we really that we really want and that's how you get that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click file save and then I'm gonna go back into premiere just to show you what this looks like played out and I'm gonna play that animation for you and that's looking good only problem is this is actually a little bit slow so to adjust that what I'm gonna do is go back into after effects click on these little arrows until I get to effects click on saber and then go to customize core effects and you, you can see this is the animation keyframe we made originally I'm just gonna drag that all the way back so that it happens a little bit faster then I'm gonna click file save I'm gonna go back into Premiere and see what that looks like that's a good speed for how we, how we want the core to actually come together how we want the text to look that turned out really good I think the glowing looks nice the animation looks really really crisp make sure you guys take advantage of this make sure you utilize this this is gonna just give so much more professionalism and so much more of a just better look and aesthetic to the beginning of your videos um, a text video I feel like text tutorials usually have been boring but text is very important because it just sets the mood for like the whole video you're about to watch and like I said this is probably one of the best free plugins that you can really get for After Effects and there's so many other built-in little things that you, can, that you can do. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comment section down below. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Make sure you guys subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.